Hi, this is Chris Foster, Senior Editor of Triathlete Magazine. We're here today to take a look at a brand new product from Quintana Roo, their Hydro Speed Speed Suit. Now this is an important product because Quintana Roo just re-entered the wetsuit market after literally inventing the swim wetsuit a long, long time ago. They've been out of it for a while, but they came back last year with their Hydro 6 and Hydro 5 wetsuits. Um, so now they've got a speed suit to kind of complement the, the thicker neoprene. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a speed suit is something you can wear when um, the race director says, okay, it's wetsuit illegal. It's too warm for a wetsuit. Um, so you throw on the speed suit, you wear that, you take it off in T1. You definitely don't race with it. It's not like a tri suit, um, but it's going to provide more compression. It's going to um, keep those pockets from dragging. Um, a lot of them have hydrophobic materials, so um, it'll actually make you faster. So let's check this out. Um, first thing I'm noticing here is this is a pretty early sample, so I'm guessing this is not the final packaging. So, um, you know, don't worry about kind of how rough the packaging looks to begin with. Okay, so obviously, this is the first time I'm looking at this. Um, they make both a short and a long sleeve version. Um, this is going to be their long sleeve version. It's pretty nice. Um, it's interesting. It's a, it's a little more stretchy than a lot of the other uh, speed suits that I've worn through my career. Um, it's got an interesting zipper cover in the back that looks like it's neoprene. Um, so this is kind of a big deal because this will help keep that like really basic zipper seam um, from chafing your back during like an Ironman swim. Um, so that's, that's something I haven't really seen too much. It's got what they call a zipper lock. Um, so it looks like it won't pull. I mean, a lot of zippers do that, to be honest. Um, it just zips down, pretty simple. Um, looking at like a lot of taped seams on the inside, that's a good sign. Um, you definitely want taped and not sewn on something this thin. Um, super, super low profile seams coming through the, uh, the armpits, through the sides. I mean, it, it, it looks really nice because um, I have seen some speed suits with some pretty ugly looking seams because the material is so delicate and, um, and thin. So they did a good job with that. Um, they even hemmed the, uh, the long sleeve arms there and hemmed the, um, the legs as well. Again, like I said, you can't wear this on the bike. I wouldn't wear this on the run. Um, there's no pad at all, but that's to be expected. You've got kind of this grippy material on the sides. Um, I'm sure there's some reason for that. I'm guessing hydrophobic, um, but we'll have to see. Um, so I'm going to take this out, uh, both the short, the, sorry, the long sleeve and then the short sleeve, which is, um, I'm sure just about the same, but without sleeves, I'll take this out and do some, um, some review testing with it, let you know how it goes because I've definitely worn my fair share of speed suits. Here you go, the sleeveless version, very wide armholes. Um, this is probably more what you're going to use for like a really hot swim or maybe a short course swim where you don't want your arms impinged on at all. Um, the long sleeve one is probably going to be more for long course swims where you really don't want or you want more sun protection on your shoulders because you've got such a long day out there. So anyway, check back for more on these two speed suits. But that's all for us today. I'm Chris Foster. We'll see you next time.